and welcome back to another edition of the Gare Bear Review. Yes, we have been uh, absent for the last month or so, and I like to personally apologize for that. Uh, recently, I've been promoted, and uh, things have just been a little bit crazy, so I haven't been having my normal schedule, but we are back better and cooler than ever. A lot of things have happened. I've seen over... So let's just say too many movies to count right now, so we're going to do this quick and fast because uh, the schedule is still tight anyway. But our new uh, adventure, as of right now, we are going to go over Maze Runner. Yes, Maze Runner 2, to be exact, The Scorch Trials. Uh, doesn't really have a sequel number, but it is the sequel to Maze Runner. Um, everyone seems to be back. Uh, you got Dylan O'Brien, Kiho Lee, uh, Kaya... Kaya Scuderio, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she's cute. I, I'm I'm infatuated with her. Uh, you also have uh, Thomas Brody Sanger. Uh, you have all these other great people in uh, in this movie. Uh, uh, Giancarlo Esposito, you definitely know him from uh, a little thing called Breaking Bad. Um, the the cast just goes on and on. Patricia Clarkson's back, obviously. Aiden Gillian. Um, it, it kind of branched off from there. I mean, yeah, Alan Turdick is uh, in this also, I believe, and uh, it's kind of fun to watch. Uh, it was interesting. It was definitely a lot better than the first. It picks up literally right from where you left off from the first one, uh, so which which is great. Um, the only thing that's not great about it is if you haven't seen the first one. So uh, if you are planning to see this, check out the first one first check out my review first for that also um the thing is this one blows it out of the water most of these teen sequels tend to do that where their prediction is going to probably be five movies maybe maybe a little bit less maybe three or four um they tend to do better in the middle sections and then the last two are where it get uh the last one usually branches off into Part 1 and Part 2 because they are building up to something. So, they are building up to something in this. I don't know how many movies they're doing. I guess it depends on the, how many books there are in the series. I've never read it myself. Um, I heard it's good. Um, never really read it. Uh, but th this is one of those movies where it's one of those teen movies, you know, where all the teenagers show up. You know, they're all idiots and teen, fucking teen drama. That's all I'm saying about this one. Um, but... Scorch Trials actually takes it to another level. It takes us to another level. Even though it's the sequel, it takes it to a whole other level, which I'm glad that they did. They needed to. The first one was, I mean, it was good, but it was crap compared to this. Uh, there's a lot more character development. There's a lot more to do. There's a lot more to see. They, uh, it. The first one was pure setup, which is why it was crap. Most sequel, Most starters on these types of movies are crap because they're all they're fillers there's a lot of talking there's a lot of dialogue there's a lot of setup for the sequels and then you get up to the action hunger games perfect example the last one was just pure setup for this one and i know it's part one and part two you they could have easily condensed so much into so little into two hours that's all they had to do but more money more people more money whatever that's how these work so, it's fun. It was kind of fun to see all the people come back. It was fun to see that there was a better way to make this movie. There was a better way to uh, develop the characters, which is what I like. Dylan O'Brien uh, plays the main character here as Kyla uh, Scuderio. Scuderio. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but they're both like, like I said. They're both back. Uh, they both play off each other pretty well, fairly well. Um, they do tend to take a character switch a little bit where um, they change personality. Not, th not them personally, but they don't act as themselves uh, throughout the movie. Um, there's a kind of... If you haven't read the books, you know that there's a big twist towards the end. Uh, it was actually kind of cool. And apparently, it fucking turned into a fucking I Am Legend where they go into sewers and next thing you know, there's zombies. But... That's just me. I mean, I loved I Am Legend, and that's where I saw that coming from. So uh, it was kind of cool. Um, all in all, check it out. It's obviously a lot better than the first, as you can clearly tell by me. 
Um, it's also a lot more fun uh, watching these characters develop more, and they added a lot of characters too uh, to to this. They might have mentioned some in passing, maybe I don't know, but um, they mentioned previous characters. They mentioned uh, the, the the new characters. I don't know if they'll come back. I'm hoping they will. I hope Alan Turner comes back because I love him in Firefly. Um, he he definitely needs to come back. But otherwise. Real fun to watch. Check it out. Uh, especially, I severely recommend this only if you've seen the first one. Otherwise, you're probably going to be lost. It's going to be really weird. Uh, you should come back next time because our next adventure will be... What is our next adventure, actually? Uh, oh, we're climbing Mount Everest. So make sure you get your, your Snuggies and your blankets up, all right? So uh, stay tuned for that. Bye!